Hello my beautiful souls, this is Moon Seeker of Light Guardian and today I'm doing a pick a card reading. This is what spirit wants you to know right now when it comes to your love connection. Whoever it is you're thinking about when you're watching this, this is what spirit wants you to know about this person. So we have the blue sandstone rose, we have the rose quartz rose and we have the amethyst rose. So all the timestamps will be in the description box below. This is one, two, three. So pause if you need to connect to the cards, but I will be starting with the blue sandstone. Okay, so let's get started. Hello, if you picked the blue sandstone, these are your messages from spirit. We have confidence. We have balance. We have time for rest. So right now, it is time for you to step into your power. Know that the sun will rise again. Even though there's darkness right now, the, the sun will rise again. You just need to find the balance between the light and the dark. Find your confidence again. Find your smile again. Find your happy place again. This might need need you for this might call for you to take a little bit of a time out. It's time for you to rest, rejuvenate, restore yourself, mind, body, and soul. So allow yourself to take that in, to rest, to rejuvenate yourself. We have the magicians in reverse. We have the eight of wands in reverse, and we have the hanged man in reverse. Yes, most definitely it's time for you to take a rest here because you, this fear you're feeling, this anxiety, this um, feeling that you perhaps need to self-sacrifice or to make some kind of sacrifice, this is just bringing you down. This is this is blocking you, blocking you from from being in touch. Right now you're out of touch. You can't connect to, to the earth, to the universe, to divine, to your higher self. This is why you'll have a lack of confidence right now. It's time for you to not be a manipulator the 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 magician in the vision in reverse can be a manipulative energy this could be that someone around you is manipulating you and your confidence it doesn't have to be you this is a general reading so please take it as it resonates but there could be someone in your life that is 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 manipulating you and in in doing so breaking down your confidence this is about you identifying the person place or thing and and finding some kind of balance here because there are delays you're waiting for something but while you're in this energy and why this person plays a thing is affecting you this way there will be no no message coming in there'll be no communication you'll keep waiting and there'll be further delays so just I, from all of this here it's you need to take a time out rest restore rejuvenate rethink replan if need be so let's get some messages from your person the person you're watching this for is it too late for us? I'm authentic now. I wasn't before. So your person has gone through a transformation. They have gone through a um, metamorphosis. And they're standing in the power now. And I feel like they want, they need for you to do the same. Or they need you guys to, to match each other's energy. Each other's frequency. They weren't authentic before. They're now. Now they're standing in the power. They're authentic. But they're asking you, is it too late for us? Can we re can we create and manifest a new beginning for us? Can we shift things around to see things differently, gain some kind of enlightenment, some kind of perspective on what has happened so we can make a go of it again? Some unspoken words. You are captivating. I have fallen for you. So even though that they're a new person they've transformed, they still see you as the person that they fell for. They fell for you and they fell for your heart. You still captivate them. Even though you guys haven't talked in a while because we have this eight of wands here in reverse, there has been no communication or there's been little communication, delayed communication. So your person wants you to know that it's time that they, they, they have gone through a transformation. And it's time for you to do the same. It's time for you guys to start matching each other's frequency. This could be that this is your divine masculine, your divine feminine, and they're just vibe. They they're further along on the journey. There's always one that's before the other, 
and this is like them trying to be your their your leading hand your helping hand to help you through this time this time of this this energy here of someone trying to manipulate you manipulate manipulate your confidence trying to bring you down so that you don't see what you need to see when it comes to balance but if you take the time to rest things will become clear you will start seeing things within when you have renewed energy so guys if you picked the blue sandstone rose that was your reading please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and if you guys are interested in a personal reading all the information you need is in the description box below thank you i'll talk to you soon bye hello if you picked the rose quartz rose these are your messages we have here fearful you can see that there fearful shackled reflection so um, for you guys that chose this pile, the, you guys are still shackled to fear, doubt, limiting beliefs. Or this could be your person is still shackled to fear, doubt, limiting beliefs. This is a general reading, so please take it as it res resonates. The energies can be interchangeable here. But it's time for you to take some time to reflect. It's time for your person to take some time to reflect. And there's a lot of reflection on this card right now. You can't even see what, see what it says. But this is really saying like, there's time, there's a big, big, big time for your person to take a deep look in the mirror and really see if they like what it is they see. Because this is about being bound and shackled to the things that weigh you down, to your limiting beliefs, to your fear, to your doubts. I feel like this has come in between the two of you a lot in this connection, your person's fears. And this is time for them to unshackle themselves. And they do this by looking in the mirror and really reflecting on what it is they see, how it is they talk to themselves, how it is they talk to you, how they view this connection. We have here the Hierophant. We have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Very interesting here. And we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So we have the Hierophant here who's all about commitment. And next to that we have the Page of Pentacles that is about being uncommitted. So this Page of Pentacles, like normally pages are messengers, is something wanted to come in, a message to come in here. But this, this Hierophant here, so this fear is having them torn between committing to you and not committing to you. They want to come in and talk to you about not committing to you, but at the same time they want to commit to you. But they're fearful, they're afraid, they're shackled to their fear. Their fear is like really dragging them down. And we have the ten of wands here in in reverse this is not not taking responsibility for the fact that they're allowing the fear to drag them down to keep them shackled and bound they're not allowing this to end tens are numbers of completion this cycle needs to end it's time for them to put down their burdens but no instead they're going to carry those burdens they're going to carry this weight because they're too afraid they're too afraid to let it go because what will happen then if they let it go, they'll have to face all the things they were too afraid to face, like committing to you. Let's get a message from their heart space here. How do I fix this? Yes, I don't know how to fix it because I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid. I'm, I'm too chained up to be able to move. I can barely look myself in the mirror because it's too heavy. I can't get up. I can't lift myself up. So how do I fix this? I don't know. I didn't know what I had. They didn't know what they had, but in all of this, they did know because they wanted to commit to you. They want to commit to you, but they didn't. They, they allowed it to slip out of their fingers. They allowed it to slip out of their hands because they were too afraid. Some unspoken words. Let's get it on. And I have a crush on you. So yes, they want to get physical with you. They think that perhaps this is how, how they're going to fix this. But they think perhaps if they start with the physical, uh, the rest will fall into place. I mean, try it if you want to, but that is not how you fix something that has been broken. This is like, this is also them telling you that I didn't know what I had, but you know, I do have a crush on you. This is the cute way of saying like, I do love you, I have deep seated feelings for you, but I don't know how to fix this. I don't know how to look myself in the mirror. I'd rather not look myself in the mirror because I won't like what I see. 
I won't like who's looking back at me. So the fixing needs to start from self. It needs to start with looking at their shadows, looking at their beliefs, their foundations, eliminating those things that keep them bound and shackled. This could also be people, places, and things. They could be people in their lives that um, don't, don't allow for them to step up and become who they truly are, who they're truly meant to be, if that makes sense. So guys, if you chose this pile, that was a reading. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, guys. If you chose the Amethyst Rose, this is your reading. We have new beginnings. We have a heart overhead. And we have awareness here. So your person is looking to have a new beginning. This could also be you wanting to have a new beginning. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates. The energies can be interchangeable here. So, but let's read this from your person. So your person is wanting a new beginning. They have stepped into their heart space now. They're no longer in the head space. They're no longer in their pride and ego. They're no longer afraid. They are aware. They're very much aware about what this connection is, who you are to them and where you belong when it comes to their heart space. Like you are at the center of their heart space and they want to create something new with you. They want to birth something new here with you. We have the nine of wands. It's a lot of glare there, but this is the nine of wands here. We have the eight of uh, swords in reverse. And we have the Page of Swords. So your person is like, yes, I am wounded. Yes, I have been hurt before. But you know what? I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to make a last go of things by creating this new beginning with you. Because I found my, my freedom now. I have released myself from this prison. From this mind prison I was in before. When I was stuck with my limiting beliefs. With my doubts. My fears. And this falls under the, the head. The heart overhead here. So they've really released themselves. From the grip the pride and ego had on them. And they have, they have emerged in their heart space. And now that they are aware. They want to bring you a message. A message of clarity. A message of their truth here with the page of swords. They are curious about how to begin this new chapter with you. To birth this new um, beginning with you. Let's get some messages from the heart space. I fucked up. I own that. And they do. They know what they did. They know how they, they messed things up with you. And they own that. They, they, they acknowledge that. They take it on board. And they're learning from that. I was searching for something at the time. At the time when they did this, they, they were searching for something. But they didn't realize that what they were searching for was already there. They already had it. It was right in front of them all along. Some unspoken words. Tell me what to do. And all I want is you. What more can I say? So your person is like, you know what? I know what I want. I was searching for something, but I know what I want now. I found what I was looking for. I always had it. I know what I want. I don't know what more I can say. So now I'm going to need you to help me out here. Help me out to see how I unfuck this. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do so we can birth a new beginning. So we can start afresh from our he um, heart spaces. Because I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to hold on to you. I own what I did. I own how we got here. And my part in it. But I need you to help me out here and let me know what to do, how to do, where to do it. Because all I want is you. There's nothing else I can really say about this. So guys, if you chose this pile, this is your reading, plain and simple. They want a new beginning. They're in their heart space. They fucked up. They own that. They just want you, nothing else. So help them out and telling them what to do. Now, this is not me saying to all of you to run and call them or text them or whatever. I'm just saying, energetically, you can help them out as well. It doesn't have to be communication in the physical world. 
so guys please like comment subscribe share if you like this this video this was your reading if you want a personal reading all the information you need is in the description box below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye